Hello everybody. We bless God today. Our God is good. Our God is kind. Uh, today's video is how to calm down and cheer up. How to calm down and cheer up. Today it seems as if if everyone is under stress. It's become a normal part of our everyday lives. As long as we keep that stress at a reasonable limit, there is no problem. But when we allow it to exceed that limit, trouble begins. For example, a chair is built to sit on, isn't it? It is designed and constructed to bear a certain amount of weight. If used properly, it should last a very long time. But if overloaded beyond its capacity, it brings to wear out and eventually break down completely under the strain. In the same way, you and I, we are designed and created to bear a certain amount of physical, mental and emotional strain day after day. However, problems arise when we allow ourselves to come under more weight than we are capable of supporting. A word we don't hear much about today is prudence. It means a careful management economy in the Bible. Prudence or prudent means being good stewards or managers of the gifts God has given us to use. Those gifts include time, energy, strength, and health. Even material positions, they include our bodies as well as our minds and spirits just as each of us have been given a different set of gifts each of us has been given different levels of ability to manage these gifts some of us are better able to manage our gifts than others each of us needs to know our limits we need to know how much we can handle we need to be able to recognize when we are reaching full capacity or overload Instead of pushing ourselves into overload to please others or satisfy our own desires of reaching personal goals, we need to listen to and obey what God is telling us to do. We must follow His wisdom if we re really want to enjoy blessing, blessings in our lives. Some people want to carry all the people along, along your family, your friends. You cannot do it. So even some people went on and said they want to help God. Why will you help God? Did God ask you to help him? Please be calm and God will talk to you. Let me ask you this question. Did you know that anything can cause stress? I'm a, I'm a doctor. See, anything can cause stress. Stress can be big or little, little things. In addition, what causes you stress may not bother someone else. And what bothers you today may not bother you tomorrow. Let's just take this for an example. Going to the grocery shop and becoming upset by high prices may be a stress for you. Because now things are very costly. Then the process of buying for your groceries, especially if the money is tight, may become a stress. Okay? Even the checker in your land runs out of change and has to shut down temporarily. You switch to a new lane and lend five of your items don't have a price on them. Then the person checking has to call for a price check on each one while you wait. And the line behind you, behind you grows. These small seemingly innocent circumstances pile up until you feel you are going to explode from the pressure. Nobody can remove all the big and little things that cause stress in our lives. That's why we must be prudent in identifying the stress that affects us most and most and learn how to respond to them correctly. We must recognize our limits and learn to say no to ourselves and others. Some people, to say no is a very problem to them. Please say no when you cannot. Stress not managed properly can mount up one by one, bringing us to a breaking point. 
we may not be able to eliminate or reduce many of the stress in our lives. Yet, we must concentrate on reducing their effects on us. We can't control all of our circumstances, so we must adapt our attitude and not let them pressure us. It seems the way atmosphere of the world today is charged with stress and pressure. But the good news is, we don't have to operate in the world system, reacting like people in the world who have no hope for peace in their lives. The world responds to difficulties by becoming of certain stress, but our attitude and approach should be entirely different because we are children of God. We need to have a change of attitude. The right attitude and approach can completely turn a situation around. Instead of stressing out and tensing up, calm down, take a deep breath and try to get some perspective on the situation. When we approach a circumstance already stressed out, we are setting ourselves up for misery before we begin. Instead, refuse to allow your circumstances to detect how you are going to feel. You may not be able to control the situation, but you can control how you respond to it. Take an uh, offensive approach and decide beforehand what your attitude will be. Then the door will be opened for God to supernaturally help you through your choice to calm down and cheer up. Almighty God will see you through. God will bless you. Instead of pushing ourselves into overload to please others or satisfy our own desires of reaching personal goals, we need to listen to and obey what God is telling us to do. When you feel frustrated or upset, God wants you to be quiet and also in your emotions and come to Him for help. And I want you now to learn how powerful God's peace can be. God has His own peace to give to you. When your life feels like a storm, what should you do? Okay? You have to go to God. There is a word in the Bible that can help you and you will stay very peacefully and calm both inside and out. Okay? God loves you. God loves us through every mistake we make. If you are feeling discouraged, get encouraged as a child of God. As you are hearing this word, please do not over stress yourself because of what is going on in our world today. We have seen so many things COVID 19, all the rest of the things. Things are very costly anywhere, everywhere. So you have to be calm and cheer up. Because when you're disturbing yourself, when you put yourself into a cage and you're worried, Satan will be happy. That thing that will get you anger, please leave it and go away. Call upon the name of the Lord. He will be with you. He will guide you. He will protect you. Instead of you disturbing your life, instead of you making yourself to be a person that God does not remember, God remembers every one of us. And Jesus Christ loves you. This is why I'm calling upon you now through this video. Please repent and come to God. Repent and come to Jesus Christ. Whatever that is holding you down. And I pray in the name of Jesus, it will stop now in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you going through stress in your home? Your children are giving you problem? Ah, sickness. Let me tell you, come to Jesus Christ. He will make everything all right. God will heal you because it says by the stress of Jesus Christ we are healed and nothing can stop that healing because Jesus Christ's healing is permanent. There are so many testimonies going on now. People are coming, testifying, saying what God has done in their lives just with this prayer. If you feel that your prayers are not answered, just listen. Go and fast. Three days is okay from morning to 12 noon. Tender everything to God 
abstain from food. Just go and be quiet with God. Almighty God will answer you. Do not weep. Do not cry. Whatever that you're looking for, God will do it. People can throw you. People can do say all sorts of things. But child of God, move forward. Don't go backwards. You know you have left Egypt. So you need not to go back there again. When you're crying, when you are complaining, go here, you complain, telling people, do you know their heart? Do you know their mind? Just look, look unto Jesus Christ. He will make a way for you. God is ready to care for you. He's ready to do everything for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, and God is working, telling us that we are not praying in vain. All our prayers, the prayer we are praying here, God is hearing it.